This year's Oakville Festival of Film and Art has a special focus on diversity and inclusivity. A must-watch documentary, Bangla Surf Girls, is just one of many. And here to talk more about it is producer Lalita Krishna. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, this is uh, not your first Oakville um, Festival of Film and Art. You've been uh, invited several years. Now, of course, it's different these days with, you know, we're virtual again. But uh, what do you like about this festival? Oh, how I does it compare? It's such a diversity of films, filmmakers, and so many people from, um, you know, across the province even uh, coming and showing their films and so many international films as well. And this year we're especially happy because it's on screening on Multiculturalism Day, which uh, celebrates the diversity of Canada. That's uh, fantastic for us to be screening on this day. Are you happy with the environment we have now with the diversity in film? Uh, you know, obviously there's still a, a long road to go, but is it is it moving at a pace that you're uh, satisfied with? Well, I think I think there's been a lot of um, attention uh, to the matter since, uh, unfortunately, um, all the events of last year and Black Lives Matters. It's all perked up uh, substantially. I think everyone's been very conscious that we need to do a lot more and we need to do it sooner. And I think there's um, a big rush towards that. But I'm happy to say that the Oakville Film Festival has always been conscious um, and they have been presenting a diverse array of films every year, which are so exciting to watch. And that includes Bangla Surf Girls. It sounds like a great story, which you wrote, by the way. You're the producer, but you're also the writer of this. Tell us the story. So the story is really a coming of age of uh, three young girls who join a surf program and find a way to change their destiny because they're born into poverty and, you know, kind of destined for early childhood marriage or, you know, life of drudgery. But then they find escape and freedom, um, as you can see in some of these shots, um, by surfing. And they believe that, you know, they can actually just find a new way to their lives and a new future and they fight for it and that's the beauty of this film that we wanted to capture because it's a universal story it I think a lot of people can relate to and yes and what are some of the takeaways from this film I think um, I think one of the biggest takeaways is the is the is the tenacity of these girls and the fact that you can fight to change and once you're shown a path you, if you pursue it you can actually reach your goal and you know, you'll see there are insurmountable uh, barriers that are put before these girls, but how they overcome each one of them. And it is a positive ending um, at the end. I don't want to say too much because I'm hoping everyone will watch on uh, yes. the 27th. Yes, it's on the 27th that we can see it. The festival kicks off on the 23rd, but the 27th is the big night with Bangla Surf Girls. Right. Yeah, by the way, congratulations. You also won a recent award for the film. Um, well, it was actually for my body of work. It's called the Don Haig Award that was given by the Hot Docs Film Festival. And it's uh, for the years of um, work and I guess my um, the mentorship that I've been doing over the years. I've been, you know, producer for a long time. And yes. very few awards that are given to producers, really, because filmmakers get recognized all the time for films. Right. So this is very special and very dear because it's also named after a very prolific and talented filmmaker, Don Haig. Yes, and uh, well-deserved because you've been a mentor to so many young filmmakers as well. So we look forward to a more great work. But in the meantime, we got to see Bangla Surf Girls on the 27th. And again, the Festival of Film and Art, the Oakville Festival of Film and Art, kicks off on the 23rd of this month. Lalita Krishna, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Continued thanks. success. Hey, Bob, it's my pleasure. Thank you.